Our knowledge of acids and bases has improved over time as scientists have gained greater understanding of chemistry at the molecular level. In the late 19th century, the Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius developed the first chemical theory of how acids and bases operate. Arrhenius found that when acids and bases are dissolved in water, they dissociate into constituent ions. For example, hydrochloric acid combines with water to form individual hydronium and chloride ions, and sodium hydroxide dissociates into separate sodium and hydroxide ions. Based on his findings, Arrhenius defined an acid as any substance that forms hydronium ions in solution, and a base as any substance that releases hydroxide ions. This theory stated that many acids share common properties because they form a hydronium ion, as do bases, which release hydroxide ions. In fact, Arrhenius explained almost all of the chemistry of acids and bases with his theory. But there was one question he was unable to answer. Why substances like baking soda behaved like bases, but did not contain a hydroxide ion? In 1923, a Danish chemist, Johann Bronsted, and an English chemist, Thomas Lowry, independently published similar findings that refined Arrhenius's work. Chemicals that fit their description are known as Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. Bronsted and Lowry defined acids as any substances that donate a proton or hydrogen ion. In this respect, they were very similar to Arrhenius acids. But Bronsted-Lowry bases are more general. The scientists defined a base as any substance that will accept a hydrogen ion. Their definition included compounds that did not contain hydroxide ions and more clearly outlined the relationship between acids and bases. A third theory of the chemistry of acids and bases was introduced at the same time as the Bronsted and Lowry definition. Gilbert Lewis, an American chemist, defined acids as any substance that will accept a free pair of electrons and a base as any substance that will donate a pair of free electrons. One way to understand this difference is to compare Lewis acids to other definitions. According to Bronsted and Lowry, a hydrogen ion is part of an acid. According to Lewis, a hydrogen ion is an acid. The same applies to bases. Arrhenius says that a base must include a hydroxide ion. Lewis says the hydroxide ion is a base. Lewis's definition explains certain compounds that behave like acids but do not contain a hydrogen ion. It also provided another way of understanding reactions between acids and bases. While the Lewis definition is the broadest, the Bronsted-Lowry definition is the most common way of understanding and explaining acids and bases. Did you know? The chemists who developed theories of acid and base chemistry were some of the greatest scientists of their time. Svante Arrhenius was a Nobel laureate for chemistry in 1903, and Gilbert Lewis was the head of the chemistry department at the University of California, Berkeley. He is responsible for many of the methods used in the study of college chemistry today.